everybody, welcome back to the Beach Mom Bookworm. I am Tiffany, I'm so glad y'all found me again today. My channel's all about cozy mysteries and romance books and today I'm doing a tag, the I'm so annoyed tag. This was, I was tagged for the tag by Storm from Storm Reads. This was originally created by, I'm not sure whom. I've been seeing a couple different names. Uh, it looks like books I'm not reading. That's hilarious. And a web of stories. I'm going to put those all those links I find in there before below. And that way we make sure we give credit where credit's due. But I think it's maybe a combination of those two. Not really sure. Seen a lot of people do this. And unfortunately, it's probably going to be pretty anticlimactic for me because um, I try not to, 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 I try to live by not sweating the small stuff, you know, um, I give myself like 10 seconds because I'm a natural reactor in big emotion to anything, happy, excited. Y'all see how I am. So I'm very dramatic. I'm very big emotion. So sometimes when something happens, like right in the moment, I'll be like, and you might be able to like see on my face or something like that. But then I give myself 10, like 10 seconds. And I've had to teach myself, uh, you know, I went to school for a long time and um, learned a lot of different techniques to help other people, but it really helped me along the way too. So, you know, and not to get too far off topic, but one of the things I always tell myself is, is that you don't know how many years you're going to get on this planet. If I only get 65, 70 years, I don't want to spend 24 hours um, 12 hours of it, upset, mad, annoyed, um, because a book got spoiled or something like that. So not always can I pull myself out of things. Of course, we're all um, imperfect. But um, I really just, uh, you know, um, Try not to sweat the small stuff. I really do. So this might be a little anticlimactic. I'm sorry. I watched Sonia's video and I was like, can I just, I told Sonia later, I was like, can I just take your video and be like, these are my answers. Here you go. Um, there were a couple things um, that I thought of. So let's just get into it. So it says, first one, um, do publishers ever do things that you find annoying? Share an example. It's so much of an annoying, but um, one I, I've heard a bunch of people say this. I would enjoy if he, if they not enjoy it would be helpful if they would put the numbers on the side of the books. But I can just as easily go to Goodreads as well. So you know it's not really annoyance, but it would be practical and nice. Um, and I heard uh, Fiona from Reads and Eats say something along this line. Not exactly what mine was, but um, the synopsis. I feel like, and I don't even know if this is a publisher thing, so this might not go in this in this question because uh, it might not have anything to do with the publishers, but I feel like synopsis have gotten way too um, detailed at points sometimes where we almost have an outline of the book, and that's not fun for me. S number two, have you uh, ever been annoyed by a spoiler? Even something as simple as someone telling you there's a great twist. I love when people tell me there's a great twist because then it's going to make me more apt to read the book. As far as have I ever been annoyed by a spoiler, the answer to that one is yes. That had nothing to do with the book, but I am... <laughs> Again, I feel silly about it now, but... I was, uh, when I was doing counseling at a residential facility for uh, adolescents, um, the girls would try to get under your skin when they were frustrated with you. I mean, they're teenagers and, you know, that's just what teenagers do. And I don't let a lot bother me. And I mean, part of my job is not letting um, that happen, of course. And so, um, you know, they would say things, they would try to say things that they thought would be hurtful. They would, you know, stuff like that. And I um, really was able to just kind of shrug things off. However, one day <clears throat> I had been watching this TV show for, for many years and I was behind because I watched it through Netflix, like after the season was out. And, um, some of the girls, I guess, had heard me speaking to probably another counselor or something, and they knew I watched this show. And I'm this this girl who 
normally I had a great relationship with. So I probably had charged her or something like that. And she was upset with me, like, you know, um, and she says, blah, blah, blah gets killed. And I was like, cause I think I've been watching this show for years and it almost felt like someone punched me in the stomach. I am not, I am, I'm really, I feel really silly that I that something like that bothered me so much, but I can't deny it. I was really like, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, it's silly now, but uh, I do remember at the time being pretty annoyed. Number three, have you ever been annoyed by what you discovered at a free little library book sale or used book sale? Tell us what you found and why it was so annoying. Um, no, I, I haven't. But I will say that I saw a post on Instagram from somebody I follow and they're a romance reader and they had wrapped some romance books um, as like blind dates in February for their free little library and she put them in there and she walked off and she saw an um, older man come up to the um, free little library. She described him as an older man. I have no idea. She didn't say approximately how old. I'm just relaying the story and he took those out and threw them away. I, I'm not really sure the reasoning. I don't, I, I mean, they were wrapped, so I don't know if they were even identified as romance. I think maybe they had like, um, Valentine's day wrapping paper sort of thing. And maybe they said the tropes, I think they said the tropes. So I don't know if somebody was offended by romance being in the little free library, but, um, I don't know. That story really bothered me. I don't know about annoyed me. It just, it just, it just bothered me that, that somebody would do that. Um, so that stuck with me. Number four, when it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there's a novella in the middle of the collection? I'm not a short story reader, so I have no opinion on that. Uh, but as far as like novellas being within series, I don't normally read them. But I don't like, I don't get annoyed by them or anything else. I do get, I guess, annoyed with Goodreads when um, sometimes they don't match up later to Amazon. And that's just kind of like both of them. Um, so like somebody will have a 4.5 and they'll count it as a 5. And so Amazon will say 5 and Goodreads will say like Four. And, you know, it's off because one of them didn't count the novella or counted the novella as a regular book. And so, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. So then the series numbers are off in different spots. Um, but as far as short stories, I don't. And I enjoy some novellas in some series because the way the author does them is just like a little catch up. And it won't be necessarily like a whole mystery course because it's a novella. But it'll be more about like the characters. And I'm very character driven. So I actually enjoy those. Let me see. Let me see. Number five, uh, Deckled Edges, Beautiful or Annoying. Um... I, I don't have an opinion because I don't buy books anymore and I think they look beautiful, but um, maybe if I actually um, had them, I might feel differently because I've heard people's perspective on it and, you know, I'm not, I'm not dealing with them, but I do think they look beautiful. Number six, other people's annotations in used a book or library book, annoying, or are you okay with it? Um, I heard many people say this and I, I, back at a thousand percent. If it's a library book and still on the library bookshelves, we shouldn't be doing anything that's not our property. Okay, there, we've said it. But um, the used books, I actually enjoy the annotations and stuff. I, I love hearing other people's thoughts and knowing that other people got um, caught up in the same story I did and went on the same adventure that I did. I actually love it. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy it. All right, number, number, no, I'm sorry, number seven. If there's a series or a collection of certain kinds of books like an imprint and changes are made, are you annoyed or are you okay with it? If yes, give us an example. See, again, this is like um, not a question that's um, one I can really answer because I don't buy physical books. Um, I would say that, I don't think so because I'm so not um, like 
organized and I don't mind chaos and, and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I can understand people's, um, annoyance, but I don't think it would annoy me because I'm just like, eh. <laughs> number eight, do the decisions of characters in a novel ever annoy you? Share, uh, the book and decisions you found annoying. Um, I don't know about annoy, but I've definitely been frustrated with characters and books. Um, I don't know about any in particular, but I do think that there's certain cozy series. And I, I don't know about off the top of my head, but like where characters make really rash, impulsive, dangerous decisions. Like at some point, um, you know, the like too stupid to live <laughs> comes in and I'm like, mm this wasn't wise. And I, like I said, I don't know about annoy, but I definitely get frustrated. Like, would somebody really do that? And why would you do that? So there's that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Number nine. Are you ever annoyed by how someone organizes the books? What do you find annoying? Um, no. I, however, anybody wants to do their books, um, that is for them to decide. I don't have any opinion on it. I um, enjoy um, looking at people's bookshelves and I love all different kinds of ways that people organize by, um, I know people have said the rainbow. Some people love it, some people don't. I think it looks beautiful. I love when people have like uh, lights on their uh, bookcases and little pop-ups. And I, you know, I think it's all shows more, even more creativity. Um, I think it's great. I think it's great. I like saw a picture and I was like, oh my gosh, if I still do, but did books like collected physical books, I would totally do that. I saw this DIY picture and it was old wooden crates and they were turned sideways and stacked like different. And then they had lights and then they were used as, um, bookshelves. And I thought it looked so, so cool. Really. I really liked it. And number 10, share something bookish that you find annoying. Oh, I don't know that I find, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it, again, I don't know if it's annoying so much. And it's um, bookish, but it's more about the book community. Sometimes I think that um, it's okay not to like a book. We're not going to like everything. It's okay to say we didn't like a book. It's okay to say why we didn't like a book. But I feel like some people go for the jugular on purpose um, just to be harsh. And I'm only talking about myself. I don't enjoy that. Uh, somebody worked very hard on that. I, it just, um, I don't think that there, I, I, I just think that's nasty. I don't think there's a need for that. I, I guess that would be, and I don't know if it's annoyance so much as it just bothers me. Um, I don't know. And last up, number 11, tag some people. Of course, if you want to do the tag, consider yourself tag, 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 tag. However, I am going to tag a few people. I'm going to tag Courtney from Tangible Breeds. I'm going to tag Megan from Mythical Megan. And I'm going to tag Kristen from, what is Kristen Craves Books. All right, before we go, I want to say thanks, Storm, for tagging me. I I enjoy a good tag every once in a while. I think they're really fun. I really enjoy watching them. So thank you so much for that. And give me a big thumbs up for this video. And until next time, may all you future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody.